before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, Palmaga Mats. They make an insanely quality product. As you can see right here, this is the Despia two-player cloth play mat that they did. And you guys definitely need to get yourself one of these. Check them out in the description box below and get yourself a custom one or browse through the designs that they already have. So without further ado, I just wanted to get into the video. Today I went to Locals as well as Friday and topped twice back to back, one first place, one second place with Despia Dark Lord. This deck is so cracked, y'all. It is the most slept on engine, in my opinion, for the deck. It's super fun to play. I'm still working and tinkering around with the lists and ratios, but uh, I'll show you guys the ratios that I played this weekend and hopefully you guys like it as much as I do. So let's get right into the deck profile. For the Despia engine, we played uh, two copies of Fallen of Albaz, two copies of Tri Brigade Mercurier, two copies of a Luber, two, oh, one copy of Albion, one copy of Ad Libtum, and one copy of Tragedy. So that's it for the monsters. And then for the spells for the Despia engine, I played three copies of Branded Fusion three copies of Branded Opening, two copies of Branded in Red, and one copy of the Field Spell. I think this is just the correct ratio. And then for the Trap Cards, I have one Branded Banishment and one Branded Sword. Uh, so the Despia engine is obviously the larger portion of the deck, but the, uh, the engine just is so strong at this ratio. I am going to test uh, a third copy of Fallen of Alvaz, but other than that, this has performed extremely well all weekend, and the synergy that the Dark Lords have with the field spell is just super insane. So definitely check that out for sure. It just lets you recycle your Dark Fairies, so insane. Every time your Dark Lords get destroyed, you just get to summon back one of your fusion monsters, and it's just super cracked. Uh, so for the generic cards that I played... I played uh, three Allure of Darkness, two Super Poly, and one copy of Foolish Burial. I just felt like this was probably the most optimal ratios that I could run, personally. So definitely enjoyed it, to say the least. So this is, I, I tested three Super Poly, but it just wasn't um, impactful enough. And then I was also, on Friday, I was actually playing Droplets over the Super Polys and the Foolish Burial, which it, obviously it came up. But like... It just wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. And then for the last uh, generic card, I played one Fairy Tales. I was just missing the Light Monster, so it just seemed like the best option to play. Next up for the Dark Lord engine, the <laughs> there it's a pretty big engine, y'all. But it, it was super cracked all day, y'all, and, and Friday as well. Like It caught so many people off guard. And then also just being able to pop two cards on your opponent's turn and even copy the Dark Lord Fusion Trap to make Guardian Chimera and then uh, resolve it normally and copying it sometimes, like twice in the same turn. Like activating it, making Guardian Chimera, and then copying it and making like a Despia uh, Q or a Despia Ma or a Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon. Just super insane, so... Uh, so let's get into the Dark Lord engine. We played three copies of Dark Lord Ixchel, one copy of Dark Lord Nastin, one copy of Dark Lord uh, Morningstar. So that's it for the Dark Lord monsters that I ran. I was running Superbia, but honestly, it just bricked too much, and then uh, it didn't have that copy ability. And then this has been like I've been switching this and uh, Dark Lord Amdus out. So, but this this has been really strong just because of how much attack it has. And then for the spell lineup, we have three uh, banishment and three contact. <clears throat> contact is just like a monster reborn. I've honestly been thinking about cutting it down to two, just because like you do, you want to see it, but you don't want to see it in every hand. And uh, it actually happened to me today against Sword Soul where I drew this back to back as my top deck, and it just it felt really bad. So. Uh, might cut this down to two and like replace this with the third Fallen of Albaz, but other than that, the, the engine has been cracked. You obviously have to run three Banishment, three. And then for the trap cards, uh, I played one Rebellion and one Uprising. Uprising is insane, y'all. Like, this card is, is literally polymerization on your opponent's turn, and uh, if you send the Dark Lord monster, you're going to gain life points, which actually helped a lot uh, against Mirror Match because I gained the life points back against Masquerade and it let me just keep playing. And then I wound up just copying it. And then the uh, Dark Lord Rebellion is just non-targeting removal. 
and then you can copy it so that's also insane like today i was i popped the sword soul token they made another one and i copied it and popped the sword soul token again and it was just really bad for them so that's it for the dark lord engine uh i think it's just uh 14 cards yeah it's a 14 card engine so and then we'll just get into the extra deck now uh the extra deck is was super strong all day so it's there's not too much different but um other than that it, like it's it's pretty strong so we have uh two copies of albion two copies of lubellion two copies of mirror jade and two copies of masquerade uh so these are just like the best fusions in the deck you absolutely have to play them they're just super insane they're like like obviously if you've been playing despia for a while you know how good these cards are uh masquerade was made all day mirror jade made all day Lubellion made all day and then sending the albion for cost for mirror jade happened all day so both days <clears throat> but i was beating the best decks y'all like fluanderies swords hole everything like it's crazy so uh then we have um sprint brygrand uh as additional targets to send off of the uh mirror jade to search for this one to search for the courier this one and then they both summon fallen of albaz so and then I played the um the one uh Corderus and then the one uh Guardian Chimera, the one Dragos Tatalpia. So those were like the three random fusions that I ran. Uh, I couldn't find a um uh Priscalian, but that's fine. Uh Guardian Chimera was the same. You don't need to run three in this version. I've never had to make the second one, so and then the uh the Dragos Tatalpia didn't come up today, and it didn't come it came up in mirror match on Friday though. And then the the quarters uh, is just insane. Like it gives you another option to make. And today I actually uh, didn't realize it till I had gotten to my locals. But I had I didn't have this card in my extra deck as well as um, the sprint. So I was playing with a thirteen card extra deck today, and I still ended up topping. So. And then for the uh, last cards in the extra deck, uh, this is the main reason you run this version is the first Dark Lord. So this card is insane, y'all. It is a four thousand four thousand. It makes your fairies untargetable. If you use Dark Lord Morningstar with it, you get to destroy all the cards on their side of the field. And then once per turn, it lets you summon any uh, Dark Fairy during the main phase by paying a thousand. So we can just bring back our Luber, get our searches. We can bring back our Ixchil and get our copies. It's just so insane. And then also, it just having 4,000 makes it such a wall. Like, I played against Sword Soul, and they just didn't have the droplets, so they couldn't get rid of it. And then, <laughs> I am running a Link Monster in this deck, y'all. And I know you got any SPL players like, ah, Link Monster is a fusion deck, but it does come up and it will help you guys in time. Uh, it came up once in the two days that I played, but the um the Condemned Dark Lord, uh, this card is actually kind of good because it lets you just like search for Dark Lord monsters and add them to your hand or send them to the graveyard and you can bring it back with the contact. And then also um, being able to just normal summon the uh, Morningstar is actually the reason I ended up making it and then gaining life points at the end of the turn. So you can obviously replace this with any fusion. This is kind of just a flex spot, really. So, But the deck performed extremely well, y'all. I played against Despia. I played against uh, Sword Soul. played against uh, Fluanderies. played against um, Eldlich. And just absolutely raffle stomped all of them. I had one loss throughout the entire weekend. And it was to uh, Sword Soul, and then I wound up playing the same Sword Soul guy in top and ended up beating him. So yeah, super insane deck. And don't forget to check out Pal Manga Mats on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, make, you, make sure you guys use my promo code down in the description box below. Get yourself 10% off. And also don't forget to check out Dragon Rider Games to play in high tier format. Uh, tournaments so that you can get yourself some pretty cool prize cards like Therion King Regulus. Uh, Secret Rare Triple Taxis Talent. They do tournaments every single day on Dueling Books, so make sure you guys check them out. They'll be in the link down below as well. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when I'm going to make the next video. It is going to be a while between this upload and the next one because I have to do some things for work over the next 25 days, but don't worry, guys. I'm going to be active, and I will be playing in the Remote Duel Extravaganza at the end of this month, and uh, without further ado, this is Gore signing off.